Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another empties video for you. If you're new to my channel, basically I have a whole bunch of empty containers and I go really quickly and tell you would I buy it again or would I not buy it again. So basically, if you would like to see my trash and know if I would repurchase it again or not, please keep watching. Okay, so first up I have this cream. It's by Neogen. It's a Korean brand. This is the day and night cream. I absolutely love this stuff. One side was day, one side was night. One kind of smelled like lavender, the other one was like a mild green tea scent. This stuff's amazing, it's great for travel. It's a little bit bulky, yes, but you get a day cream and a night cream, and the cream itself was unbelievable. So, would I recommend this again? Absolutely. Korean skincare, they know what's going on, okay? This is my absolute favorite body wash. It's the Bath & Body Works Oahu Coconut Sunset with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. Hands down, you just smell like a tropical dream and that's all I have to say about it. It makes you feel fresh, but it makes you smell like a summer goddess. So, yeah. Okay, so next up I have the best texturizing spray in the market that there is. It is the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. It smells like a coconut dream, but it just makes your hair have all this volume. Doesn't feel crunchy. It's amazing. I already repurchased this. This is like the best thing ever. It's it's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. It is. Next, I have my fancy part wash. This is the Bioderma 24 hour ultra nourishing shower gel oil thing. Would I repurchase this again? Yes, maybe for the winter time when my skin's extra dry, but I did find out that there is fragrance in here. It is a hypoallergenic fragrance, so I've kind of switched over and I'm trying something new without the fragrance. So I do think this is great, especially if you have dry skin. I'm not running out to repurchase it right now, but it's a great value, so if you do have really dry skin, check this out. It's a good little shower oil. Check it out. This mask was amazing. This is the Neostrata Pure Hyaluronic Acid Biocellulose Mask with 0.15% hyaluronic acid. So you take this mask out, you peel off both sides, and it legit forms to your face. So you could like move around, clean your house, do whatever the hell you want, and it's not going to slip off like most masks do. And it really did hydrate my face. It didn't break me out. I absolutely love it. I think it's a little bit pricey. It might run you per mask. I think it's about an $8, maybe a little bit more. I'm not too sure. But if you want to treat yourself like treat yourself Friday and feel really good you know if you're a big event happening and you just want that hydration into your face try this out it kind of reminds me of the Lancome um, the Genifique mask and that one is really expensive so this is a deal a bargain a steal compared to that so if you're looking for something to really hydrate pampering yourself for a special occasion this is where it's at it's really good I have another empty texturizing spray told you it is that good it's amazing. Then I have the Chlorine Dry Shampoo, which is so good. I've talked about this before. It is worth, it's a little bit more money than the Batiste Dry Shampoo, but it is worth the money. It just makes your hair feel a little bit more clean. It's just better. In my opinion, this is much better. And I discovered, which I like even more, the brunette one. Dark to brown hairspray because my roots are dark. I keep them dark. I have the balayage thing happening. But because my roots are dark, this goes really well into my hair. It doesn't leave any white cast. So if you do have kind of the same type of hair as I do, check out the brunette one. It's really good. Well, one of my favorite face wipes for sure at the drugstore is the Neutrogena face wipes. There's not much I can say other than they don't burn. They take everything off. And I really like them. Right? It's good. This by far is the best sunscreen on the market. I swear by this stuff and I absolutely love it. This is the Vichy Sport. You need to get the Sport. So it is SPF 60. It's 80 minute waterproof and sweat proof. The reason why I love this is because it melts onto the skin. There's zero white cast and doesn't leave you feeling sticky. Also, you can apply this to wet skin. You do not have to towel off after you get out of the water. You can apply it right to your wet skin and it totally absorbs and doesn't get weird and streaky and white. So I'm telling you, if you're looking for amazing sun care, especially protection from the sun, you're gonna wanna look for the UVA to be circled on your bottle. It's a new regulation. It's gonna be coming out all over Canada. I have another one of these going in the shower. I really, really love it. It's the La Roche-Posay Tellerian Caring Wash. It's for your face and what I like to do is I like to remove my makeup. So if I don't, take a face wipe first and remove all this off my face I will go in with this little wash do a quick cleanse you can put it all over your eyes it doesn't burn it takes off mascara it takes off makeup and then I'll go in more with a you know a little bit more of abrasive cleanser or something that really really cleans but this is a great gentle fragrance free dye free if you have sensitive skin face wash you want to check this out it's really really good Highly recommend. Okay, so next I have this Laneige water sleeping mask. Um, it was like a little sample trial size. Do I love this? No, it was okay. It's all right. For the price, I don't think I would buy this. 
I don't like the feeling of having that like wet feeling going to bed on my face. It kind of, you know, leaves a mess on your pillow. It's not my thing. So I, I would definitely pass on this. It's not something that I would go to all the time. The trial size was big enough for me to determine if it was a yay or nay. And to me, no, not that into it. I have two more dry shampoos from Chlorine because, you know, apparently I don't like to wash my hair very much, so I just use dry shampoo all day long. Then I have the Neostrata Glycolic Mousse Cleanser. It's a foaming cleanser. Do I love this? Absolutely. Uh, I'm not a big foaming cleanser kind of person just because I feel like sometimes it's a little bit too watery and doesn't do enough on my face. But this one comes out like a true foam. It really works. It removes my makeup and it does have a glycolic acid in it. So it does exfoliate the dead skin. If you have little bumps, I usually get some little bumps, texture problems around my chin. This really does help. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for, you know, a mild cleanser that does do a little bit of exfoliation this would be your best friend i have another fancy part oil i do like this product see i have two and that's a lot of shower gel and even sean uses it now but i've kind of moved on and i'll show you what i've moved on to because i have one right here i've moved on to the aderma x omega control this is a gel for infants, children, and adults. It's fragrance-free. It's great. So this could be for the whole family. If you do have kids and they have sensitive skin, check this out. This is a, this is a great brand. It's made by Aven. I love to use this because it has no fragrance in it. It makes me really, really clean. No irritation. So I've kind of moved on to this, and I really like it. Plus, it's made in France, and we know what's in France. Great cheese and wine. So if they make that, they make a good body wash. I don't know. Dry. This used to be my favorite texturizing spray, the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This is excellent. Yes, it is. It does an amazing job. But IGK has won me over because it just smells like coconuts. So this one does not smell like coconuts. This one smells like more of like a perfume fragrance. And I don't really like perfume. So I've moved on. It's really good though. But I moved on. The best fragrance in the entire world is this. It is the Comptoir Sud Pacific Vanilla Apricot. I've already bought a new one. I'm halfway done that. This is amazing. So if you are like me and you really, fragrance really irritates the hell out of you, I just really cannot wear anything with any floral note in it because it will burn my eyes and make me feel like I'm dying. And we don't, we don't want to feel like that. So this one just smells like the perfect amount of vanilla with a little bit of apricot. And every time I go near somebody, they always ask me what I'm wearing. They say, it smells very lovely. And it should because this thing is like $150, but it's really good. And I'm telling you, if you're sensitive to fragrance, check out this brand. They make a whole bunch of different kinds and you gotta check it out because it's so good. Okay, this deodorant is definitely amazing. It does contain aluminum, so I'm kind of like upset about it because I was trying not to use aluminum, but let's face it. I have stinky, sweaty armpits like a man, and this is the only thing that really, really keeps them dry. It's a roll-on, it's from Clarins, it's an antiperspirant, and it's alcohol-free. It's alcohol-free, yes, but it does have aluminum in it, so I know, it's not good for the pits, but let me tell you, I'm on the road all day, I'm talking to people, and I gotta keep dry, and I gotta be fresh, and this is keeping me fresh, so if you have stinky armpits like me, check out the Clarins deodorant. It will change your life. I have a micellar water. This is from La Roche-Posay. It's for sensitive, reactive skin. I really, really like it. It's like the Bioderma one. You can put it on your eyes. You can put it on your face. It removes your makeup. Not waterproof, but it takes pretty much everything else off. But I do highly recommend this if you're looking for an affordable drugstore micellar water. It's a 400 ml, and I think it ranges from $20. So it's not that bad of a price, but really good, especially if you have sensitive, reactive skin. Check this out. It will be your best friend. I absolutely love this eye makeup remover. So this is the Aven um, Instant Eye Makeup Remover. It takes off waterproof makeup, and yes, it does. It does not burn, it does not sting, and one glide with the little cotton pad and all your eye makeup is gone. So I highly recommend this. If you have sensitive eyes, check out this brand. It is excellent. So next I have the Folorga. This is a Sleep and Peel Night Cream. It's really good. It does have like a peeling agent to it, but it's not harsh at all. You wake up and your skin just feels smooth. It feels hydrated. It does not burn. So if you are looking for a little bit more of a bougie, you know, product made from France, um, this is like a little trial size. It actually comes in a jar, but if you're looking for a product like this to help moisturize yet kind of surf resurface your skin, you should check this out. I love Folorga as a brand. It's absolutely amazing. It does. It's a little bit pricey. I think it's around $100, but it's really good. A little tube like this did last me quite a, quite a long time, and I did not use it every single night. I kind of alternate between creams, but it was really good. I would recommend this. I have this product right here, which I really, really enjoyed. This is the Shiseido Ultimune Eye, the Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. It's an eye little serum cream thing. Again, expensive but it was really good really hydrating helps with fine lines has caffeine i'm pretty sure helps stimulate just feels great 
you need to check this out. If you're looking for a really good eye product, this one, bougie as hell, very good. Let's go talk about another eye cream that was unbelievable, kind of life-changing actually. This is the Neostrata Intensive Eye Therapy Cream. It was so good and actually this lasted me a long time. I used it every single morning um, and especially above my eyelid and I'm not gonna lie to you, I did notice a little bit of lifting action happening, so. It does work. The only thing I've noticed kind of aging throughout the years, I'm in my 30s now, and the only thing I've kind of noticed that's kind of, you know, gravity's taking a toll is my eyelids. They're not as high as what they used to be, and they are getting a little bit more condensed. So this did actually, I find, help lift, and it should because it's almost $100, but I'm telling you, this product does work. It's not a gimmick, and it's really good. So if you're looking for a product that helps lift, helps with wrinkles, basically does everything in a jar, this is what you want. It is excellent. If I had to pick between the two, the Shiseido or this one, I'm going with Neostrata. It was a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit. Oh wait, I have another eye thing. And this one is also excellent. And this one also made a difference. This is a serum. I was using it though kind of as an eye cream. If you don't like anything super heavy, you might want to check this out. This is the Carez Black Pine Super Eye Serum. And I'm telling you, this also was excellent. And this, I also noticed a difference with lifting. So it comes out, looks like a little Botox kind of needle telling you it's really good. If you're looking for more of a natural solution, because this is almost, I, I want to say it's like 90% natural ingredients in here. So if you're more on the natural side of beauty and you're looking for stuff without chemicals and everything else, check out this one. This also is about $100, but it does work. And if I had to pick between Neostrata and this one, I really can't tell you which one I'd pick because they're both freaking amazing. I have an empty hula bronzer from Benefit. This is the best bronzer, have it on today. Very, very, um, has like an ashy undertone, not too ashy, has a little bit of warmth to it, and it's totally matte. So it's great for contouring, great for bronzing, and now they've actually released new shades. So if you are deeper or if you're fairer than I am, they have different shades of this bronzer, but I love it. You can't go wrong, comes with a brush, it's a standard love. I have this from La Roche Posay. This is the Hylou B5 Serum. This is great for hydration, has the hyaluronic acid. So if you're looking for a product like that for sensitive skin, you might want to check this out. The only thing I did not love about it was the texture. It comes out like a gel. It's kind of thick and it's stringy. It's a little bit different of a texture. Um, I find sometimes it didn't layer great with some other products I was using. So for a hydration serum, I didn't absolutely love it and I would not repurchase it just because I've tried a lot of hydrating serums and this is not my absolute favorite. It is definitely good, but it's not my go-to hydrating serum. This serum I really, really love, and this is around the 30, I think the 30, 40 dollar mark. This is the Bioderma Hydra BO serum, and um, it was excellent. It comes out like a lightweight gel, just really puts moisture into your skin. It's paraben free, has no fragrance, hypoallergenic, so if I had to pick between the two of these, I'm going with the Bioderma. It's a little bit cheaper, plus I just like the way it felt better on my skin. So yes, if you're looking for hydration, check this guy out. It's really good. And I have two eyebrow pencils from Benefit. They're both precisely my brow. One's in shade two and one's in shade three. Hands down, this is one of the best eyebrow pencils on the market. It is a little bit pricey. You're gonna be paying around the $30 mark. It doesn't last all that long, so that's why Sometimes when I want to treat myself, I will buy this or sometimes I go to the NYX or the L'Oreal one because it's about a quarter of the price. But it is an excellent, excellent product and I highly recommend it if you feel like a bougie bee and want to spend some money on the eyebrows. Yeah, you need this. It's really good. So the next product I have is the German Blend Power Setter 2-in-1 Setting Spray. This is great. It reminds me of the Urban Decay Setting Spray. It smells like the Urban Decay Setting Spray. Probably is close to the same formula since they're owned by the same company. Um, it's excellent. Would I recommend this? Absolutely. Is it a little bit pricey? Yeah, it's almost $40. I think that's pricey for a setting spray. I do. Because when I set my face, I do 85 pumps and it doesn't last me that long. But does it hold my makeup? Absolutely. Is it great? Fantastic. This is definitely one of my favorite foundations, the Lancome Tinty Dole Ultra Wear Foundation. I have the shade 220 Buff C. This is a long wear foundation. Great, uh, has like a medium to full coverage, has a SPF 15 in it, looks great in photos, blends out like a dream, lasts all day. So if you're looking for a luxury foundation that does last on combination to oily skin throughout the day and that just looks flawless and comes in a million freaking shades, you wanna check this out because it's so good. And then to wrap this video up, I have two drugstore foundations. One is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear and the other one is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation. I love both of these. I want 
would say this one probably gives you a little bit more hydration. Um, I also like the applicator on this as well. This is, has like a little doe foot applicator. Both the foundations were great. They both lasted long on my combination skin. So for a drugstore foundation, I think that these two are a great choice. I highly recommend both of them and they're both affordable. So looking for a drugstore foundation, both of these are excellent. So this will be the end of my empties video. I'm cutting it short because it's already way too long. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, as always, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.